welcome to another episode of Remember When with Damon and a podcast where I, Damon and Dorothy, ask my guests, have you a fly around you? No, it's doing my wee wave in oh, case right, it was sorry. on camera, sorry. Yeah, but he wants to be my in-air wave. <laughs> uh, a podcast where I, Damon and Dorothy, ask my guests, do you remember when something happened in pop culture history that had some sort of effect on them? Before we go any further, you can now join the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash remember when, where you'll have the Monday Money Pod. Last week, I bitched about the gluten-free life. Uh, you can also, absolute shambles, um, the worst. You can also buy tickets to The Hen Do, which is my latest play. And I should stop saying that it's the sequel to Bridesmaids because I'm feeling people are going, well, I haven't seen Bridesmaids. You don't have to have seen, fuck Bridesmaids. Forget about Bridesmaids ever happening. The Hen Do, completely separate entity. Not really. But you can go see it at the Opera House and all the regional venues, theatres, GBL Productions. There's the link. And you can get that link on the internet below this it's available um, buy tickets buy early buy often buy more um, buy polar <laughs> keep going to see the hen do uh, gets funnier the more you see it <laughs> especially if you're bipolar especially if you're, you're one day you're like this is shit what a drama the next day you're like this is the best comedy I've ever seen what a West End musical um, my guest today is Dr. Kieran Bodley Hi. thanks for having me uh, I just seen an article recently that was talking about comedians here. I wasn't mentioned in it, but that's fine. And it said that you're not related to Mickey in it. We are related. That's fucking weird. Who, what they actually said. Literally in brackets. No relation. After your names, your name said no relation after having previously talked about Mickey Bartlett. And I was like, we are related. Everyone knows that. My dad and Mickey's dad. Uh, for the last, I say for the last time, my dad was Mickey's dad's cousin. There I'm you go. glad you said cousin because if your dad yeah. was Mickey's dad, then that's yeah, your no, brothers. Yeah, yep, yep. Some families that might be we're, Yeah, half brothers, brackets, no relation. Yeah, um, yeah no, we're, uh, yeah, so I'm not sure if that makes us, this is very boring, but I'm not sure if that makes us second cousins or first cousins once removed. I think it's that. That's the same thing? I don't think it is. It is. I don't think it is. I think second cousins are your cousin's children. They, yeah. Or is that a first cousin once removed? No, no, no. So, so if you have, hold on. <laughs> no, me and Mickey, sorry, me and Mickey are second cousins. Yeah. Because our parents were cousins. Then your but, second but cousins. your cousin's children, yeah, are your first cousin once removed. So I went to school with a girl who was a year older than me. I don't know. I don't know. <clears> you should be so proud of that. I don't know if that's right. But my, my so there was a girl who was my school a year older than me, and she was my daddy's first cousin. Yeah, yeah. There's stuff I got my. So family she's too, my yeah. second cousin. Yeah, like my my dad. So like I have cousins that are like in their sixties. Do you know what I mean? So like their kids are my age, but they're like my. First cousin once removed. Whoa. Crazy. Too many things. Too much shit. Like, I don't want to Do you know what? It doesn't matter either. No. You just go, here, I'll see you at the next funeral. Surely, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But surely everybody's related. Everybody. Well, if, if we're to believe science. No. I think it's if we're to believe yeah. Adam and Eve. Yeah. Then everyone's, because everyone, so if they're, I mean, it had to I, I think that's somewhere. an allegory though. I don't think that's like an, a literal, I don't think you're meant to think Genesis is literal like. It's definitely an allegory, isn't it? Like I don't know. Well, look at it this way: if if there was if there was just Adam and Eve, yeah, and they had two sons, it would have stopped then and there, wouldn't it? Unless unless well, one think... of them anted up and bucked Eve. Do you know what I mean? Well, but she was uh, she may well have been up for it. She was a sinful, sinful woman. Ma. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? She was dirt, that's the classic. Them that's, your, that's your classic. You know, uh, wasn't the apple on the tree? It was the pearl on the ground. Was <laughs> <laughs> ah, it? But then, uh, if I think back then, there wouldn't have been a stigma against booking your ma. Oh, I think. There I mean, was. in some places now, people don't. I mind know. It. Yeah, I th- I think there is. I think there was. Even back then. Even here, see if you sort of believe in all that, you're maybe going back six thousand years, right? Maybe, right? right. I think booking your ma six thousand years ago, rare. I don't know. I think it doesn't say it in the Bible. If you're the first ma ever. Which Eve apparently was. But then think about this. There's no proto- there's no other like you're the prototype. But then so yes, can- but then think about this. They buck Eve. In, in a in a world where before Cain kills Abel. By the way, they had another brother set, so the three boys in this family. Do you know that's like the Jonas brothers? There's one no one gives a shit about. Right. So the the, the, the one that plays the guitar, right? <laughs> yeah. So he um No, 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 right. Cairn, no. There's a fourth Jonas brother. Who's not in the band? Is there? Yes. He's the bonus Jonas. <laughs> I didn't know it. Nobody gives a shit about him. I always thought the. Do you know why? He was a, stinking looking. There was a fourth BG as well. 
Right. And they sang, you know, when they sing that, and the lights all went down in Massachusetts. They dedicated to him. This is for Why our brother. Be on? So there's Morris Andy and what are, Frankie Jonas. Right, Frankie, Frankie Jonas. Frankie Jonas is the bonus Jonas. No. Morris Gibb, Andy Gibb, Robin Gibb, no. and then their brother, or no, their brother was Andy. Ah, uh, bollocks. What do you call the other one? Robin Gibb. Barry. Uh. They were the ones in the Bee Gees. So Barry, Robin and Morris mm. are the Bee Gees. Well, two of them are dead now. And then and then Andy was Can their I first brother at that. I was today years old when I found out that the Bee Gees were related to each other. That's, that's why they're called Bee Gees. The brothers Gibb. No! True story. True story. I'm, I'm, why? Are they trying to make a wee play on words from the brothers Grimm? I wondered about that, but I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, I got caught Wonder, up. Did I was, they buck their man? I was half. I was. I know. I was halfway through wondering about this. Going, how many BGs does it take to buck Eve? So like, <laughs> how deep is your muff? So, yeah. <laughs> the so, the so, light bulb joke. So if 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 Adam and Eve have three sons, right? Mm-hmm. Cain kills Abel. Set, I think, kills Cain. Is Cain the da? No, Eve. No, Adam's, Adam's the, the da, da, right? And then, so, for talk's sake, say one of them bucked Eve. Mm. Even if Eve had a daughter, they have to wait around and then buck their own buck their own daughter, who is also their sister. Oh! So I just don't like, buy this. This is like this footballer's is, wife. This is where literal, this is where, <laughs> this is where <laughs> literal, uh, literal genesis takes you into a nightmare. I, I, yeah. I don't believe, I don't buy it at all. So we're supposed to believe that everything is just an analogy? An allegory. What's the difference? An analogy saying that's a good question. <laughs> I think <laughs> and an I, I hold on, an al- an allegory is like a symbolic story and an analogy is saying you know I uh, this is like this. Yeah, like, like when this you know, uh fucking buying cats is a bit like fucking buying footballers. Yeah. What's the end of that? Cause either way you're gonna end up with cat food in your house. Like I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there's there's a pussy, way, there's a pussy joke in there somewhere. Somebody's getting bucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Know, yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> so yeah. That. Um, that was some cough you have on you. Are you okay? It's I was. I was. Riddle. That's tuberculosis. <laughs> like I, I was, am on my. Way. Do you know Sean said to me yesterday? You're fault in part. He's like you're dying. I was like I am. I think. Do we get? Do middle aged? People say oh, middle age. Oh, I like, know middle age. <laughs> yeah. But you people say like that's like your fifties. You're like, bullshit. No, one, who's living to hundred? It's, it's it starts at twenty nine. Where I'm middle aged now. We're middle aged. I'm middle aged. So so what happens when you get to the height? You come down. So I'm on the decline of life. I'm I, dying. You know. You know. Whenever you know you're you've hit middle age is when you find property pal exciting. Oh, oh, you I love I mean? property pal. You go on it. You have a wee look at houses you'll never afford. And the go, best. And go. Come here in and look at this bathroom. Yeah. And you're actually excited. Yeah. That's middle age. Sean and I used to do that all the time until we yeah. got a life, but we did just do it all, all the time. <laughs> do you know when you like you show each other a property? No, I used to do it more than Sean. He'd be like, wise up, what's the point? That's a waste of my time. It's a waste of your time if you're actually looking to buy a house and the other yes. one keeps showing you ones that Stuff are that way out of your yeah, price yeah. range. But when you're not looking for a house, it's a hobby. See, when we were we, we've been looking for one recently and there was a house on a street in Belfast and it was like a a really old house. Mm-hmm. Now I was looking at it. I sh- I went to show it to Chloe as a where do you see a steady inside of this because it was fucked like it hasn't been Aye. lived in. And Chloe fell in love with it. And as a doer upper. And, and I'm going yeah, but it would be like a doer upper. You're working on it for thirty five years. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I and, and it was and it was fucking dear anyway. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because of where it was. Oh man. I don't know how people afford it in Belfast. <coughs> Near the eye. I like for it. for what you get. For what you get. Because you can afford to live in Belfast if, you know... Yeah, if there's one of you. Yeah. And you just need an apartment. Do you know what I mean? But not <laughs> if there's more than that. We came to see an apartment in Hollywood that was fucking 230 grand and it was fucking shy. For an apartment? Like, fuck. Like, and that's like, dear, that's like right up the top for us. Aye. And I was like... And I mean, it was shy, like... It Aye. wasn't even... Was it new? No. Was it was turnkey. They love saying that, don't they? It's turnkey. This was this would have been turnkey about fifteen years ago. Aye. It was fucking atrocious. And you know what? See when they open a the, couple of wee signs when you get to the uh, you know the outer communal door, Aye. somebody had put up like a wee A four page off Microsoft Word going, 
please be careful and quiet when you're opening and closing this door. And I'm like, I immediately hate this neighbour. Yeah. And then when There's they open that door, here. when they open that door, do you know what it smelled like? Freshly cleaned school toilets. Oh. Just the hallway smelled like. Bleach? Here's, you know, the. Hospital? The, it's, there, there's that pishy lingering oh. we've used this mop and have never cleaned it yeah. mop you know that's mop I by would the way I print out a sign besides beside the guy with the watch the door sound and say beware of the ball bag and put it I know, yeah. and my, say beware of the door my immediate I swear to god swear to god I nearly ripped that down in my way out of that place yeah even though I knew it wasn't a liver this is how bad that place was I was annoyed leaving it going that exists. Ah, uh, yeah. That exists, and they're selling it for that money. We viewed an apartment years ago in Belfast, and we used to call it the boat because you'd go in, right? But it was like, do you know, like one of those three story houses, and they've been into three apartments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go in, and you're walking up what is supposed to be communal stairs, but they've got like carpet on them, and you're like, who's cleaning the, ca- know, who's yeah. in the yeah, carpet? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're always thinking on the top. Yeah, and then you went down to the apartment, but it had like lots of un- useless steps. So you'd go down a couple of steps just to walk across to go up a couple of steps. Oh, again. yeah, yeah, I hate like, that shit. Yeah, it's Where's this lighting fucking Narnia? Yeah, yeah. And it was just like a maze, and there were like doors. And do you know one of those places that. So you opened a door, and there was a bedroom, but then there was another door in that room that led to another room, and you're all, well, who wants to access know, yeah. that room? Yeah, yeah. Like we like we join in rooms. Yeah, you're, so you're going through this person's bedroom to get to that person's bedroom. No one's going to want so that. It's sort of life. like the, the houses down around Queens that are like for teaching in. Would have had doors like that. Because they're just old houses. Aye. You know, so it's probably like... Not like privacy back in the day. I know, yeah. They're probably not even meant to be bedrooms. It's probably like, it's you know... Just their mind. I'm, wa- I'm, wa- <laughs> yeah. I'm, wa- I'm walking from the library into the drawing room here and then I'm going to fuck Eve. Um, yeah. Yeah, very weird. Jonas Brothers, right? Yeah. I'll tell you a wee tale. I like some of their songs right now. That's neither here nor there. But <laughs> we were... The other night we ended up watching... Have you ever watched Tiny Desk concerts? Yeah, right. fucking love them. Right, so we were watching one of the Jonas Brothers and in the middle of it, I said, oh, here, Chloe, because here's we here's we secret about Chloe. It's not even a secret. She loves Nick Jonas. Right. There was a time before we got married where Nick Jonas might have been a wallpaper. Might have been. Might have been. For a wee while. Now, who's, the one, who's he married to? Is he married to your girl from Game of Thrones or is he married to that big famous... Actress, is she an actress? I think, as well? I, think, I think, yeah, the second one, I think. Chapra, I think you call her. I, but I anyway, don't know. but she's my, he's married to her. Yeah. So he's the main guy. The main, the main guy, yeah. the, 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 the most famous one, the guy who's in Jumanji. Right. Right. So he, he might have been on Chloe's phone for a wee while, right? Right. And Do you mean like as a wallpaper and not like talking to her? Like, a, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. As, a, as a wallpaper. I of course have a picture of one of our first trips to the beach is mine, but whatever. And um <laughs> uh so Chloe loves him in the same way. So my, my wee celebrity crushes that I like I, I like Rachel McAdams, right? I love her. Rachel McAdams. Sting. From S Club Seven. No, no, Rachel McAdams from That's Rachel's uh, name. what do you call it? Wagon Crashers. Oh, the actress. Yeah. Oh, Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Yes, I know what she is. She's in like True Detective. And I, I don't need to go through her career. Anyway. I, I need to Google it and make sure I'm thinking the right one because there's a lot of reasons. <coughs> but continue. She's in she's in Mean Girls. Yes, of course you know you. Right. Oh, so, that's from Notebook. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Oh, she's. I mean. Right. Okay. So she she Fine. would be my celebrity crush. Right. right. Chloe, I would never Chloe, have picked one, one, one of Chloe's ones is is Nick Jonas. Um, Nick Jonas right. What? Well, there's two well, other brothers. She probably she probably has a couple of other wee celebrity crushes that float around, you know. Uh, but Nick Nick Jonas is 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 a legit one. I think I think really Bieber might be one. But Bieber is brilliant, but but pre he hangs dong Hayley, though. Hayley. He, he does. He Do hangs you know that? What? He hangs dong like. Does he? Have you never seen that photo? Frost like I mean, this this was a photo that people would have used <laughs> and just sent to people. Yeah, I didn't but I would imagine they are doctored. I don't know. I think this was from that that big, you know, the big leak of all the celebrity photos. Yeah, they've all been doctored. I don't. Well, whoever's doctored I'll is, report back. is a very <laughs> is a very skilled surgeon and possibly a weightlifter, right? Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're watching one of those, and in the middle of watching it, I go here. Have we sick for you, Chloe? I think Joe Jonas might be a better singer than Nick here. And then see, as soon as I said that, Joe Jonas just started singing. Like an absolute wanker. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, he, like, he was so shit. He'd been good, and I was going, oh, he's decent. Yeah. 
he's decent here. He showed you up. And then, and and when him and Nick went to do a wee harmony on soccer, they kind of fucked it the first time, but they were playing it in a different, yeah. they were playing it in shuffle time. So yeah. like, uh, you know, I'm so good for you. Like As jazz? Opposed, yeah. Yeah. And um, it's a good ear. It's you know? a good ear. It was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a wee jazzy number, right? And then, anyway, I don't know, basically the story was, I said he was good, and then he was bollocks. And then he got pure shit. I mean, he was re- mm. like really bollocks to the point where I was like, actually, I take that back immediately. Like it was so bad. Do you ever see the leaked? Like, do you ever hear the leaked microphone recordings of people of in concert? People, yeah. Do you ever see the Britney Spears one? Oh no! I don't it know. is the best of all time. No. So she's singing. So she, obviously, she's just like <clears throat> singing along into the microphone. But what the audience is hearing is a. Recorded version. She's just singing along because it's natural to do that when she's dancing. But she's all like, hey, everybody, look at me. Like, and then she jumps on top of somebody, like on his back. And she, was in, she goes, like, I'm a little girl. That's <laughs> fucking brilliant. Girl. <laughs> so good. Do you know who's actually fucking amazing, Beyonce? Of course she like, is. Like, but actually amazing. No, Because she's flat out doing like a cardio workout yeah. and just singing perfectly. Do you know what she is? An athlete. Yeah, yeah, she is. She treats her stage shows like they're a marathon, a I'm, triathlon. I'm more of a um, of a mathlete. You know, I'm more likely to do wee sums. Oh, I work out how much money I have to buy food before my gig. Yes, and then <laughs> and then sit comfortably. I'm more of a John Martin, you know, style. It's it's a wild lot of um, it's like unnecessary. Like so, obviously, she's a singer. So all the other shit is unnecessary. Yeah. But she does it anyway. Oh, it's a whole show, like. Do you know what I mean? She she is an amazing performer. Yeah. In the same way, I suppose, like... Do you know, mm. today I wrote the word Beyonce in a script and at the same time somebody said her name on the radio and now you're talking about her and uh, I don't know if I am her now or what's uh, happened. You are. You've, you've turned into her. <laughs> How did you're this happen? You're the queen bee, jeez. Um, but, aye. Do you know what's mad, though? Bieber is also really good live. Oh, I know. Bieber's like fucking brilliant. Like, he's actually brilliant. You know it's that, actually annoying. Do you know that song he done last year or two years ago? Was it called a Lonely? And it was all like about how like everyone it was it was all saying like you know using's all shouted at me and all when I don't drink driving but I was only away and leave me alone I'm so lonely. <laughs> do you remember? It's so good. Do you know one I love? I love that holy <coughs> one. The what? Holy. Oh yeah. holy! Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah, I love that. That's a banger. I also enjoy that one. Oh, I'm gonna throw a wee curveball at you here, Dan. I don't know if I mentioned this before. You know the one, my mama don't like you. She likes I. Craig David in the live lounge doing that. Stop. Do you know what I feel Fuego. really bad on is when people in the live lounge absolutely show up the original artist. Aye. Adele sings Cheryl Cole and makes Cheryl Cole look like a wee dick. She has a wee dick. Yeah, but like she looks... That's another one. There's leaked footage of or leaked audio of her on her microphone as well. Do you know who's really bad? Now, and this is, you can, they've isolated her guitar and her singing at the same time. Do you know Courtney Love? Aye. She, her band, Hole. Hole, they have a song, their big song, I think it was called Celebrity Skin. It was like, da 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 Make me over. Right? It's very easy. It's mm-hmm. easy. Like, uh, she can't even sing it shit. If you know what I mean? She sings it shit. In the best recording of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, yeah, punky yeah. and a bit like, oh, make me over. Yeah. Right? She can't even do that. Like, I'm like, you can't even be shit good. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're shit, shit. Like, she's so bad. And her guitar playing, I understand sometimes people blow their voices out. Maybe they're on tour. Maybe they're drinking. Right? Yeah. So sometimes people's voices aren't what you hope they are. <laughs> and maybe, maybe they've been overproduced on a record, right? But like this is basic guitar, like it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Do you know what I so like? I really don't understand is how people write. So, like, do you know when you write a song and you just like sing it the way you normally sing it? That's grand. Not that I write songs, but do you know when people like like look at the chords, like breathless, and all like go on. Like who decided? I know, to do yeah. that? Go on, go on. Like, do you know what would sound better if we don't go go on? If we just go go on, you know, or like you know, that song. It's all no wake up in the morning and you're like. Oh yeah, Why yeah. Making these Four on blondes, yeah. Um, Do you know what I mean? A little, a little peculiar. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is making oh, these? The tales of, tales of light of bed. But yeah. even like the Bee Gees, so they was a few listeners there. I know they're early stuff. They're probably sitting going ah ha ah, 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 ha ha, staying, staying alive. alive. And then somebody staying. just goes, "What if we go ha 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 ha, staying, staying alive?" alive. I know. Alive. And yeah. like, who's making that decision? And who's the person going? You're on to a winner. 
There are, there, this, is, this is great. I've often wondered who was the first person to do, like, because of the sort of music <laughs> yeah. I like, the proper, like, screaming and all. Who, yeah, who that, was, what's that? What's that sort of music called? Screaming death metal? There's, there, well, there, there's all, there's all, there, yeah, there's Screaming all, death metal punk. There's all different, there's all different types. So there's like, there's like, you've got, you've got your death, you've got your death metal, you've got your death core. Mm. You've got your, your screamo. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, you just got like... Screamo sounds like a fella I'd have hung around me as a teenager, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Screamo! Yeah. Somebody was telling me, um, I think it was, I, think, I can't remember who it was, somebody was telling me about this guy years ago in Derry called Scatter. <laughs> and uh, he would have been known for like, he's like, he was always keeping dick for like the Brits. That's good, that's good. And you know what, he was yeah. known for like... If there was like a bit of a riot going on or something, he'd he run out and just went scatter, and everyone would just would have scattered and went home. So he was called Scatter, <laughs> That's and very apparently terrible. he's fa- famous in Derry. I lo- I love uh, nicknames like that. Yeah, Do where they're I mean? really literal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, lo- I love that one. I don't want to burn his material, but uh, Shammy Apple Tart, Aaron Butler's. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of the fucking funniest things I've ever There was in my life. one of my best friends, ex boyfriends. <clears throat> so I knew him for years. He was called Billy. And then one day he was like, no, my name's actually James. And I was like, how do we get the Billy? Yeah. He says one day when he was like eight years old or 10 years old, he came out to the street one Sunday after mass wearing his jeans and his friends had never seen him in a pair of jeans. They were all Billy the kid. Billy stuck. His mad was on Billy. That's <laughs> mad. There was a guy in our school who got called Mickey Dunlop and that was not his name. N- neither f- first name or last name. I don't want <laughs> I don't want to reveal his real name, but it'd be like going, what's your, what's your name? Kieran Bartlett. Mickey Dunlop. Yeah. There you go. I know. He could call Mickey Dunlop because somebody was like, what's your name? And he didn't answer. And somebody was that's Mickey. Mm. And he had a Dunlop school bag. True story. Oh, that's why? Mickey Dunlop. Did you ever have a, a, a nickname that wasn't... Oh, do you have Twanky? When we're talking Twanky. About I got called Skip a lot by Orwans when I was a wee kid. Just because you were young? Because you used to skip. Oh, you used to skip? I thought you were like a skipper. I would have, I would have like, if, if I was ever asked to go anywhere or run anywhere. You just skipped off. I didn't skip the whole way, but I would I would take a little skip step and then start. Do you know what I love? There is an age, there is an age you get to where you stop skipping for, for like travel. You stop doing it. Oh. At what age is that? Because kids will just skip off. But if you Hello. looked outside and seen an Hello. adult skipping down. Hello, you go, what the fuck's wrong with that? Like a fucker's friends with Michael Jackson. I, um, I also, I got my cousin's, uh, no relation, uh, used to call me, <laughs> used to call me plates because uh, of my feet. Because I had like, I, 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 at some point in my life, I had big feet. I've grown, I've, I've, I've As grown As if they were my, the size of plates? But you can get wee plates. I don't know why they called me plates. I think it was to do with my feet. I I tried to... Make... It, it, it can't have been because I was clearing plates at a rate, like, you know what I mean? But no, no. I, know, I think it was to do with my feet. <laughs> I tried all the time to make nicknames happen for me, and they, they never, they just never... But when I moved to Belfast, like, teachers would start calling me D because they weren't capable of Diona. And then, but my dad's called D. Mm. And then I'd have went back and been like, people were calling me D in Belfast. And my dad just couldn't but understand There's it. some good nicknames in my family, though, I think. Who? Smee is, we call her Smee because she wears stripes a lot. Like Smee from... From, from, from Hook. Yeah, from Hook, uh, Peter Pan, yeah. Peter Pan. Uh, so Smee. Kev gets called Cowhead, which he always has been called. Big I head. think that started in school, yeah. Uh, people called him Cowhead. That's not then, an unusual thing for somebody with a big head. Uh, like, he doesn't have a big head now. I think it was when he was younger. He had a big head. But if you have a big head... No, nah, but it's like it was big on his wee body and now he's grown up into it. You know but what? I mean? But I'm not disputing he has a big head. I'm figuring out why cow head. Because that's not know. a usual thing. No, no. I think, I think mad cow disease was out at the time. Right, okay. Cows were trendy. Uh, yeah. Cows and, were popular. And, and then Aureline gets called Inky, but I don't know why. Inky? Do you have mm. tattoos? No. She wouldn't have done as a child anyway, no. whenever that was, no. unless it was trendy. Uh, and then, yeah, I think, I think I might be, yeah. I don't think, other than DC, my dad's called D. Doherty, but so is 95% of dairy. Mm. So it's hard, so like people to me, oh, who's your dad? Do people do that? Older yeah, yeah. Who's your dad? And you go, D. Doherty, they're all, which one? You're all, I don't even know what to tell you because there's actually multiple of them in my own family. <laughs> like, that's like the most popular name in dairy, D. Doherty. There was really? loads of them in his class. That's my brother. My brother's called 
Darren Doherty and there was a couple of them in his class. Wow. Would you hear this too? I, or my daughter's called Bunter. And I thought, well, that's an unusual name for a wee girl nobody will be called yeah. that. She went into daycare and there was another winter in her oh, class. Weird. Like two months older than her. Yeah. And I was like, Sean posted online that we were calling, he was like, winter is coming. Whenever ah. I was about five or six months pregnant, that bitch would have been about eight months pregnant and living she's, in the same she's area. She's swiped up. She's nicked the name. She has swiped up. Also, this one to myself. Um, I, I went to my, my first primary school. Uh, there, was a, there was another Karen in my class and I was, I was a wee prince and I used to refer to him as the bold Karen. Oh really? Because he was a wee dick, and oh, I was I was always bad boy. You know, I, I I would wait until the bold Kieran had done something bad, and then I would do something sweet and endearing to be like, "Oh my god, swan. you're a wee dick." That's, I was a wee dick. My stepsons are like at whenever one of them's in Bala, the other one's all. I don't think I can get you. Oh yeah, yeah. Would you like a wee drink of water? We, yeah. You all, you were a wee dick yourself twenty months ago, but now we, you're a wee surreptitious cunt. That a was wee me. lick up. That was me. Yeah, I did that. Um, do you know what I wanted to ask you about? Because you're the guy that knows a lot about a lot of random things. Um, I read this week on Twitter that there's a whole pile of PSNI officers in the Freemasons. I read about that this week too. Did she? Yep. Like, do That's you know? Do you know any more about that? She's right. So, well, well, here's what I thought. Well, I saw that tweet, so it's a freedom of yes. information request. Yes. I wanted to like that tweet, and then I didn't. I didn't. You know, like when you like. Were you afraid they come after you? No, you know when you like it, people can go in and look at your likes on Twitter. Oh really? Yeah, then go on your profile and look at your likes. Now I don't just know. Just give a second. I don't know. No, I, I know. I don't know if there's a way. <laughs> just flat out fucking yeah. Bieber dicks. <laughs> um, uh, I think. Um, I think. So I there went. must be a way where you can take that down, but I don't know. Anyway, I, I so I didn't like it, but I liked it. If you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you appreciated it. I was talking about it last night. It was very interesting. A lot of, lot of them in the Orange Order as well. <coughs> a lot of them in the Orange Order. And do you know what's funny about the Freemasons and the Orange Order is they both go to meetings and lodges. Mm. It's both lodges. Mm. Aye. Are they connected? You know what I mean? I think that's Illuminati. I think I think that's the the, the Freemason symbol. In that's definitely... Is that not? I know, but it's like, it's all connected. That's Jay-Z, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know when Jay-Z is that? Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, Illuminati. It, yeah, it's weird. But I, I was looking that. up what do Freemasons do in their meetings. Like, what is the point? Because Scientology is a religion, mm. whereas the Freemasons just like a group. Yeah, yeah. A fraternity or whatever. A fraternity, a secret society. A secret society, but apparently they started off because they were just builders building. There were there were uh, some, building some I think. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Dan, but I think they come from the the Brotherhood of the Knights Templar, is where Freemasonry started. Right. I could be wrong. I was looking up, right, lists uh, like, from people who were in the, in the Freemasons and they were like, this is what we do in meetings. And it was like, you know, pledge allegiance and then business activities and then look at like funding and then one of them was like um, birthday shout outs. Oh, wow. So their meetings are like, on the 15th of April, we're going to take over the world, but on the 14th, well, we're going to celebrate Kieran's birthday. Have, have you ever <laughs> seen the, have you ever seen like the list of the ranks? Yes, they're all, they're all like there's it's, three. It's like knights and all this and all. Yeah, like, you know. So and they I, genuinely I, all do handshakes. Dan's shaking his head at me. What? They're not related to the Templars. There's no historical connection between the Templars and Freemasons. Who says that? The Freemasons. From a exactly. Catholic answers. Mm. Aye, <laughs> and, and aye, that's who we all go to for our answer, isn't yeah, it? As the Catholic I Church. I don't know about that, Dan. I've I've read. Told that. me I get pregnant if I was in sniffing dust and I, some sperm. I. She's not true. Sitting pregnant right now. Three um, IVF. Just huffing it. Just <laughs> huffing sperm. It's not working. <laughs> um, are you sure, Dan? Uh, hang on. Here we go. Knights Templar brackets Freemasonry. You're a wee dick, Dan. Dan, you've no idea. Do you, do you, do you want it does with Dan? It's in oh. the Freemasons. He's trying to throw us off the scent. Oh, up your dick, Dan. The Knights Templar, full name, the United Religious Military and Masonic Orders of the Temple and uh, the Temple of St. John of Jerusalem, Palestine, Rhodes and Malta is a fraternal order affiliated with Freemasonry. You wee dick. But I don't understand what their meetings are about. What is are this they... the same Knights Templar though? What's the Knights Templar? Sorry, the Masonic Order of the Knights Templar derives its name from the medieval Catholic military order, Knights Templar. So they were of the Temple of Solomon, the original ones. Mate, I, I, here, do you know what? 
I'm, I'm see if I don't make it home tonight. You know rabbit why? Hole. You know why? Oh, and here, did yeah, because I've been caught up and yeah. placed in the rabbit hole. <laughs> this will go to next week. Give a week on it. Give a week left. <laughs> they, they already do know. With, do they, with, Dan is already on it. Just being like, he yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah. He knows. Use your week wisely. Yeah. What I, are you going to do with your last week of freedom? It, I find it odd that so many of them are in notifiable uh, positions. Organizations. What? A, what? But it's so bizarre. So like hundreds. So, so it was. There were, a lot of them were at the sergeant There was level the Hibernians. Well. Is that? I think there's one person in the ancient order of Hibernians. What is that? What's that? Them? That's like the uh, like a, a Catholic fraternity. Oh, we got one. Uh, we have one. <laughs> we have one. And there was like uh, hundreds in the orange order. Uh, there's well, it, what, was it hundreds? No, I think it was about twenty or thirty. The most alarming. No, there's, no, there's more. Like uh, for me, I was going. I'd need to see it again. But for me, sorry, for me, I was looking at it going. A lot of sergeants and like. You know, middle management types in yeah. Orange Order and in Freemasons. The, the like Freemasons was... in each one? No, no, no. The Freemasons was like 130. <coughs> there was like... <coughs> I don't even... I didn't I even like know... I 40, 40 sergeants, so like... I didn't even... Oh, why? But I didn't even know there'd be like 130 people even here in the north that would be in the Freemasons, not alone just oh, from no, one... It's fucking, it's fucking off, like... I, fucking I, did, I did a gig for them one time, and it was oh, weird. Did I get you? <laughs> you were. I didn't them? know. I didn't know it was them, though. On the, you know, yeah. you never know you're working for fucking Kaiser Soze. Like, so yeah. I was, um, uh, I got booked to do a gig. And the next thing, they're, they're all kind of odd. It was upstairs in the merchant. It was somebody's birthday. And the next thing, somebody was like, That's oh, here. on the agenda every month is their Someone birthdays. was like, here, uh, blah, 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 blah. Came over and was chatting to me and was like, you know, we're, we're all Masonic in here. And I was like, no, I like it as well. I, I prefer to be tails. If I'm playing it, but I'm, <laughs> And they were like, nah, Mason's like, and I was like, right, why am I here playing fucking A Little Respect by Waitus? I you know. know like? Were you there doing Stroke comedy or music? Music. You just wonder, like, Back I just, in the day. but I just wonder what it is they control or what? It, what's the point? I think it's like a, a back scratching sort of society and they place pressure on certain people. I mean. Same. You know, like, for instance, like, if, as comedians, right, let's yeah. say we had a wee secret society, yeah. right? Which we would never do because we're all egomaniacs. Yeah, we yeah, need yeah, everybody to know everything that we're doing. Yeah, have share everything um, online. Uh, you don't gain followers by having a secret society. One of my sweat lines is itchy this week. I don't know why. Anyway, I just what felt are your like sweat lines. Yeah, don't even start me about my lines, do <laughs> you? Um, <laughs> so we'll be here all day. We'll be leaving both smelling like vinegar. No, <laughs> I. Um, so so. Uh, what was I on about? Fuck's sake, this keeps happening. Secrets, if we had a secret society. So if we society. had a wee secret society, it would be maybe say like, uh, and I need somebody to do something. Yeah. I maybe say, do you, know, do you know anybody who could do that for me? And you go, yeah, my son can do that. And I go, well, I'd hire your son to do that for me. And you go, here, I'll just remember that forever and then get you to do me a favour someday. And oh. it sort of works in favours. And Isn't that and how then, the world works and though? The, no. Not like us. It's a wee <laughs> bit more. I think it's a wee bit more of a concerted effort. Other people Who think they're in the all sorts. Apparently, I read a book. I re I read a book all about the Va uh, Vatican Bank and all and, and problems that the church have been having, right? Uh -huh. And and they believe that there's Masonic elements within the Vatican and the Vatican Bank now. Everything you say, every time you say Masonic, I think a demonic, and it's a different thing. I, I every time I say it, I think of literally Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, why? I, th I think of like men in cloaks. Imagine Masonic the Hedgehog, and instead <laughs> of him like collecting like wee rings, he's just collecting favors off yeah. other <laughs> other masons. Heads. Yeah. What if who would be the master mason out of the comedians? Because you have somebody who's the ma who does who stands up and gives the ceremonies and and keeps the the room in order. Who's the ultimate favor asker out of out of the comedians? Oh, is this somebody? Um, Aaron Butler. I don't think Aaron, but Aaron Butler actually, is quite self-sufficient. Aaron, Aaron does a lot. Aaron does a lot of favors. That's what I would say. Which means that maybe at some point he'll, he'll that's, collect. That's because Aaron's know? a wee ramp boy. <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron's a ramp boy. Maybe Shane. 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 Shane can be. Shane can influence people. Yeah. Shane could make you do stupid stuff. He'd make you do a really shit handshake because they have, they have shit handshakes. He would make or you do some shit like that. I, I love whenever, I, you know, if you ever meet somebody and just give them one of them when you're doing a wee handshake. Why would you do that? That's creepy. To make them think it's like a... 
Oh, you know, like a wee secret. Shake their hand, just give them a wee scratch. Yeah. You know, shake their hand, just cut their balls. If we are going to die next week because we've outed the Freemasons, what would you do? We'll ask for freedom. What's the like ultimate bucket list thing? We're like, fuck it, that's the thing I have to do if I've got to I would away. love to rewatch the no, box set. No, what of, the fuck of, of, would you be doing watching Rome? something for? Uh, it's a great show and I bought it during a pandemic. I'm still having rewatched. You're going to die next week and you're going to sit and rewatch <laughs> what? I'll definitely call back to Doogie's Goodies. Um, <laughs> can't think where else would go. <coughs> I know. If you could swap lives with somebody for the last week of your life, who would you swap lives with? Marcus Rashford. But it would be <laughs> it would be so that I have to play up front in at least two United games. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hope that the fixtures mean that there's there's matches in the I next week. I know. Just be just be completely off the pace. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd love that. I pure use the word fixtures. I don't even know what that is. It's good. Games. I was like, fixtures. Do you know fixtures? <laughs> I'd love to swap places. Just look, like a wee pensioner. Do you know what so I'm getting shit for my box set. You're gonna be, you're gonna literally go. I'll be an old woman for a week yeah. before I die. Yeah, yeah. Just to know what it would have felt like that to die naturally. I just think, yeah, I just think they're like they, they, they know, they know they've got a coming, and I feel like they're happy enough. <laughs> they, you, sorry, what a sinister thing to say about old women. They know they have it coming. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they just know it's on it. They're on, they're on their way. Do you know what I mean? Fox. And also, do you ever see? I just don't. I was thinking recently about my granny when she was alive years ago and how she would take ages to eat one pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you'd be like, you've made that pancake a meal. Yeah, that one yeah. pancake. Whereas I'd eat that walking from the living room to the kitchen. Like, um, like you know, like it's not like a, wouldn't be, a, wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't sit down to eat yeah, a pancake. Yeah, it's not yeah. enough time. My, uh, my granny Bartlett was, uh, she was, she was a tough lady, like, mm -hmm. right? She had a very tough life. Right? right, she really did. She was born in 1904. Right, I'll just give you a wee a wee bit of this. Born in 1904, she was the eldest in her family. Uh, did you do a family tree recently or something? How do you know what date she was born or what year? My granny. Born 1904, <laughs> had like a load of uh, siblings. Like I think there was another maybe five of them, maybe six of them. Right, mm -hmm. like so seven or six or seven all together. That's a tiny family for a Catholic family. And um, and. The their mum died given or just after giving birth to the last one. Right. This is you're going maybe nineteen fourteen ish, right? right? So when Granny's about ten. And uh World War One comes along, their da goes, I'm away. Joins the joins the war. Does he? Yeah. Joins the war. Joins the war. Uh gets so the story I got told, which I've told before, was that he got his toe blown off by a sniper. Bullshit. Uh, what actually happened was he got smattered with machine gun fire and gassed and came back and wasn't right. Like, But meanwhile, my granny at 10 years old is like literally raising the rest of these kids in the house. Oh my God. She's the eldest? Yeah, right. And then... Hold on, no one lives with her? With, 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 with So there there was an aunt who would come around but like wasn't living there. No. And then... Jesus. and then, uh, Then they went... Then Granny Barlow went... Um, she was like making bread and making sodas and potato bread and selling them in the street, like so that they had some fucking money coming in. Uh -huh. And when my when my great granddad came back from the war, he made her give all the money back that she'd made that day, but let people keep the bread. We're not beggars. All this shit, on. You're right. like, I oh, sure will. You fuck off and leave your kids. So you can go and act a cunt right now. Uh -huh. anyway. But she was really tough. So then she obviously lives through. He, he fucking died then, like nineteen eighteen, and left her. I think whenever nineteen eighteen, something like that. So whenever so she's like fourteen. Fourteen. She has the rest of these and still look after, right? She was a tough lady. I'm right? sure she was. And just like tough Belfast, like, and then she. So when she was like ninety, nine. When she was like ninety, right? So like, or just before she's like eighty nine, right? This is nineteen ninety three. She had a stroke, right? Mm -hmm. And just never really came back from it. But some of the things that she would have come off with then after it, quite funny though. Oh, brilliant. Do you I know? Love it. My like, granny was the some, same. Some of it was sort of tragic. You started to know there was something wrong. Mm -hmm. So, like, she would have thought I was my dad and knew my ma was my dad's wife, but didn't know who my dad was. Okay. Very weird. Yeah. But I was only like seven. Right? Yeah. Odd. I did look like him, but uh, odd, right? Or like, my mum and dad weren't talking to her one day. Went out of the room and came back in, and she was like, "Oh, you've just missed our Tom and Am are here." Aww. And my mom's going, "You're fucking away." Is this from right? a stroke or was it like dementia? From from a stroke. From a stroke. She, she just never recovered, and um and then yeah like uh but then she started like getting quite ratty about people in like the Lansdowne uh clinic where she was staying in this old <laughs> person's home like 
but she would always talk about she would always speak about them really nicely but she was saying like like bitchy things if you know what I mean yeah. like she would speak in really nice English and all mm. oh, the, the, the ladies of the Lansdowne Clinic and then she would just basically yeah. be like <laughs> yeah she'd be like the Can't lady with the bad breath and the fat ass yeah yeah constantly. do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. asked me do I need anything she was fucking mate yeah. she was hardcore like but she knew she had a fucking common well, whenever whenever my granny had dementia as well like it was like I, oh, oh, it's obviously such a sad like disease and it's like the long goodbye isn't it called but but as a child, there are things that you find funny when yeah. your grandparent has dementia. Because my, I remember my granny going to my cousin, come here, and I made her come right up to her face, and she went, "Why are you so fucking stupid looking?" Oh my god! And it was such a, do you know what it was? It made us all laugh. Yeah. So we were just like, "This is funny sometimes," but like, obviously not whenever no, you no. can't remember who your kids yeah, are. No. But you know what I mean? <laughs> but like that is like that's it's, it's the fucking, silver lining. It, yeah, it's fucking. Why seat in the pancake? I know. Yeah, just taking forever. Yeah. I am. Um, do you know, I also, uh, my granny's sister, Aunt Alice, lived to be, like, even older. She lived to be, like, 105 or something. Who the fuck is Alice? Very good. Okay. I was about to be, like, smelty. I just, <laughs> just said. She looked, no like relation. Yoda, she looked like Yoda, right? right. And we, we used to call her Yoda, and um, she was just this wee, small wee. No, that's the best nickname in your right? family. She used to, we lived to, used to, she used to call her Yoda. <laughs> she would just fucking, she would come in, she'd be all like, well, how are you? She, you know what I mean? She's a really small wee woman, like, but she was, like, she was with it, like, Pretty much right up until she died. Like mm. she was like so with it and just like, um. But I I always remember like her kids were old bastards. Do you know what I mean? Like her kids were her kids were old as fucking. She was all about. Aye. Her kids were like push. Loads of her kids were dead. Like they they pushed. Like they they had done fucking eighty years and called it quits. And Alice is still fucking knocking the fries out. Like yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's it. But do you ever see people who are like do you like Gwyneth Paltrow who lives this like holistic life, l- lives on you know yeah. fucking bone broth and just stuck shoves yep. crystals up her hip. Yep. And then she'll be first gone. Yeah. She'll be gone before she hits sixty. And then you have somebody who's like, what do you call that chef who just like. What do you call one of those female chefs? They always use her as an example. She's like, she just like full fat butter and everything. And oh, she's like, like Nigella Lawson. Like Nigella, and she's like, everything Everything is like, should be like enjoyed and whatever. Mm. And she's out painting and fucking she's having weird, the best though, time. She's weird, just the way, like, well, I, she, I, she, she, she's fucking, she's shagging flour. I, I, I hate her vibe. I, mm. hate, I hate when people sexualize things. She knows. Sexual. Do you know, I think we talked about this before, but I think she she knows. Oh, she knows. She knows. Yeah. yeah I, Do you I know what I mean? Like I know. Yeah. She'll, so, I dropped this tea towel. Oops. Yeah. Me bending over. I know. I know yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. God. Gonna shag this kib of butter. <laughs> I don't, don't know how you would. We're going to finish up because I have to go get my tuberculosis checked out, and you have probably a meeting to be at for the job that you stole from me this year. But that's fine. <laughs> we'll talk about that all the time. <laughs> oh. oh, remember when I just got burnt? Oh, <laughs> we mate. don't have time for you. Remember when I'm with this big? Um, I don't. I, I but couldn't. That's even... my way of telling everybody that I am not writing that old punto for the waterfront this year, Mister Doctor Kieran Brown. It is. What a cunt. The body Christ. I didn't know. I need to say it. I, I was I was basically told you were doing other things. No. That's what I was told. No, 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 but I said this to you at Avenue. No, I know, but um I am doing other things because we we're doing our Christmas show in the in the opera house. Oh. So it was like it's fine. Like, you know, it's so fine. <laughs> it seems fine. I mean that's what I would say. Besides that, is there anything else you want to plug before we go? SSE, yes I do. Yeah. I, I normally just go now I'm grand. Buy me SSE tickets. First one. First one. Buy them for the first one? Yeah. First one's nearly gone. Aye. Is there going to be a second one? Oh, is there going to be a second one? Oh! I literally don't know. I mean, literally, by the time this goes out, I could be told no, but whatever. Yeah, Um, because you'll be dead. (laughs) Time this goes out. Buy buy tickets. Do you know what? I would love if you were, because the ratings for this would go through the roof. Wouldn't it? It, It's like like when an artist dies. Yeah. uh, Paintings. Yeah, it's just like, I reckon, buy tickets for the first one now, so that there's something left for my family. Do you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, because the second one's not on sale yet, and we haven't even finalised it yet. I shouldn't even be talking about it. And if he's dead by then, go in, go anyway and just be there. We could put go a projection anyway, on the it'll screen. It'll be more like a candlelit vigil in a gig by that stage, but sure, go. Yeah. Other people can tell your material. That would be. Do you know what we should do? We should do a night where everyone does each other's bits. Have to do. Oh, who? I know we we'll have to finish, and I'm terrible at this. Yeah. Who whose stuff would you most love to rip, or to do it as them? Um, oh shit no I would love to do Sean's because it, it's it's like one liners just quick and mm. easy learn it has stuff fun because it's got like, yeah. all different bits in it but I also would love to live through musical theatre for 15 minutes so I might do Trees of Livingston oh very good 
just like because I'm never going to be that person who gets yeah. to sing and play the piano so yeah. I may as well just do it for like 50 minutes yeah I would I would love I would love to do Will, Willies or I, I'd love to do Willies there's a <laughs> clip. I would love to do Willies stuff or uh, <laughs> or, 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 or butlers I'd love yeah. to, I, I think I could be I think I would be a great iron butler yeah yeah definitely you've got you've got the campness going <laughs> oh, on oh yeah, yeah I've got that uh, thanks for joining me and we'll do remember by moment the next time when I'm not away to the doctors yes